On an otherwise quiet street in suburban Chicago, a jam session is broken out in 13-year-old Spencer Tweedy's bedroom. Some dads play catch with their kids. But when Jeff Tweedy wants to bond with his boys, Spencer and Sam, he picks up a guitar. Which isn't surprising because when he's not playing here, he just might be playing here. Jeff Tweedy is the lead singer and songwriter of Wilco, a Chicago-based band that, after 15 years as a cult favorite, is beginning to get the attention many say is long overdue. I bragged to about 20 of my closest friends mm -hmm. that I was going to be doing a story on Wilco. Mm -hmm. Ten people said, oh my God, you were so lucky. The other ten said, what's a Wilco? Exactly. Well, I'll take that. That's pretty. That's pretty good 50%. percentage. Jeez. Maybe the sun will shine today. To people in the know, Wilco is a well-kept secret. But with rave reviews, glowing magazine and newspaper profiles, the secret is out. I have no idea how this happens. All of my maps have been overthrown. Happenstance has changed my plans. So many times my heart has been outgrown. It's honestly baffled me that Wilco aren't mainstream successes. Austin Skaggs is a contributing editor for Rolling Stone magazine who's covered the band. Wilco uh, have got it all, you know. Um, talking about uh, the fundamental parts of songwriting, great lyrics, great melodies, great band, great emotion. When I think of somebody like Jeff Tweedy, I put him next to people like Bob Dylan, people like Neil Young. People who, who are true songwriters, who are true vessels, and people who treat their music as their life's work. The name, Wilco, comes from a term in radio signaling, shorthand for Will Comply. We picked the name pretty quickly out of, a, out of the dictionary, and Will Comply meant to me something that would be fairly ironic uh, for a rock band to name themselves. Come on, children, you're acting like children. Every generation thinks it's the end of the world. An irony that proved prophetic because from the start, Wilco refused to comply, at least with their record company's game plan. Have you had what you, what the traditional music industry would consider a hit? No. Um, so that, I guess, makes the point. Wait. We haven't, haven't, we haven't even had what the non-traditional <laughs> music industry would consider a hit. <laughs> to the handshake drugs I bought downtown. And their adoring fans couldn't care less. Wilco's eight albums have sold four million copies worldwide, and they've won two Grammys, despite zero exposure on Top 40 Radio. I can definitely say that that has not been our primary means of outreach to an audience has not been through the radio. Our primary means of outreach to an audience has been in the most old school way, practically going door to door. Tiles top black Where the black top cracks 
Brady estimates he's played more than 2,000 shows during the past 20 years. Taking a working man's approach to music that he says is in his blood. Chicago, how deep are your roots here? Um, my roots in Chicago are extremely deep now. It's where I live, it's where my family is. The son of a railroad worker and a kitchen designer from Belleville, Illinois, Tweedy got his first guitar at age six. I can't remember a time where I didn't envision playing the guitar. be some sort of magical, empowering thing. Was well, it a passion? Passion would be a word, uh, an obsession, a monomaniacal pursuit. Uh, not necessarily of technical prowess, but of um, more music. Come on, baby, somehow. And Jeff Tweedy and Wilco have followed their obsession all over the musical map. This whole thing, when we stop, it pushes out. When they tour, there are extra buses for the families. Tweedy and his wife, Sue Miller, have been married for 14 years. Do you enjoy going on the road? I love it. What do you like about it? It's fun. I mean, I like going to the shows, and I like being backstage and being on the tour bus. I didn't want to leave for a band that's paid its dues, everything seems to be paying off. Wilco's new CD, called simply Wilco, the album, is their fastest seller ever, debuting at number four on the Billboard charts. With a recent appearance on Late Night with David Letterman, and a song featured in a high-profile TV ad campaign. The, facts I get for loving you. the little band that could is finally getting some big-time respect. I have no idea how this happens. So whether he's playing for thousands or in his son's bedroom, for Jeff Tweedy and Wilco, it's all a pretty great gig. If we can continue to do this, and still feel really good about it. After 20 years, that's a minor miracle, I think, probably. <laughs> not, not a call the Vatican kind of miracle, but certainly uh, uh, something to be acknowledged and count as a blessing. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. See you soon.